Hey there, I'm going to uh, do a, a, a lesson here with, I'm going to show you eight different scales um, you can play in the open position over the dad gad tuning with the dad gad tuning and um, if you don't know what that is it's basically you're tuning um, three of the six strings down from standard tuning um, you're taking the bottom string and the top two strings down a whole step each so basically what you're getting is in letter names d a d g a d dad gad that's the name um, so basically it's gonna be d and then a fine tune here, a little flat. Uh, I got my old Martin out, poor abused Martin. It was pretty much like this when I got it. Okay, so D, A, D, Dad, and then Gad, G, A, G, A, little flat, D. All right. So, the, so the, this tuning kind of creates some interesting um, shapes on the fretboard as you're trying to play just standard major, minor, and pentatonic scales. Um, so w when you get, so it's you've, you've got a you've got a fifth and then a fourth and then you've got a um, you've got another fourth and then you've got a second and then another fourth. So it's it's these weird intervals as you go up the neck that are going to create some odd shapes. There's even one of the scales where we're going to skip a string altogether. Okay, so D major. We'll just start with the um, three major scales I'm going to show you, um, D, G, and C. And basically D is, we're going to start open string, bottom string, then second fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, open, second, fourth, open, second, fourth, open, open, second, fourth, open, second, so you can see there's a lot of two fours here. And that's going all the way up to G. I could stop at the, at the D if I want to just go one oct or two octaves of a D major scale. But just so you know, there's other notes in the key of uh, D major. We can go all the way up to the A if we want. We can keep going. Um, so so it's, notice that when I got to the third string, I just hit the third string and then I moved on. Okay, so that's going to create some interesting picking choices on the right hand. Um, as you go through that section, in fact, what I would do is I would just I would just practice that section right there. My temptation is to kind of do almost like a sweet picking thing, go, you know, down, up, down, 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 up, down, etc. Down, down, or down, up, down, 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 up, down. But a bluegrass player, regardless of how they're playing across strings, are going to pretty much keep an alternating pattern. Down, up, down, up, down, up. pretty standard for bluegrass players. Okay, so that's the D scale. And again, you can see how it's interesting where you only have one note to hit. Um, also, the other thing you can notice is how many twos and fours you have. Which makes it pretty, pretty easy to get kind of up to speed a little bit faster on some of these scales. Okay, G major. Um, I'm going to go backwards first. I'm going to start the G is right here. So I can go down to F sharp to to E and then to D, but so um, but if I start on the G, it's fifth fret on the bottom string, then open second, third, and then open second, fourth, open second. Oh, I'm sorry, open 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 it, uh, the, the second string, second fret, third fret, open second. And five, and I'm putting the diagrams up over my shoulder here, so you can see those. Uh, do screenshots if you want, and cut them out, and pr you know, print those up so you can have them in front of you. Um, so, so if I start on G, it's so I can.
can also go down to D. So there's G, and then C is going to, we can start, actually C would start right, technically right here on the C note, the third fret of the second string down here, um, on the uh, on the fifth string. So I'm going to go down, oops, so second fret, and then open D string, I'm sorry, third fret, sorry about that, third fret, open, second fret, third fret, open, Open, second fret, third fret. So there's C full octave there. Maybe practice just that little bit of, bit of it. And then D is here, fifth fret, open. Uh, sorry, oh no, we can go right to the open string. Uh, then we have the second fret for the E, F, and G. So open on the top string we have open, second fret, third fret, and fifth fret. Okay, just kidding there. Now I gotta tune back to D. But you can see where uh, C is a little bit more limited because we only have two C's in this in this air in this uh, open position area. So you only have two roots. Uh, the G we had three and then the D we had three. Um, so let's um, let's do the pentatonics now. Let's do the major pentatonics. Uh, so for example, D major pentatonic is going to be open, second, fourth, open, second, open, second, fourth, skip the string, G string. There's no G in D major pentatonic. Open, second, Second, third, fourth. So. Now, if you hit the G, it's okay because it, G is going to be the sus. But it wouldn't be a pure pentatonic at that point. It would be a, a pentatonic plus a note. Okay, so again, open. Two, four, open, two, open, two, four, skip, open, two, open, two, four. Let's do the D minor pentatonic. And that one does have a G in it. So we're going to go open. Uh, this one's kind of cool because it's it's almost just, all, it's all up here. Open, three, five, and then everything else is just threes. Open, three, open, three, open, open, three, open, three, and if you go to this five here. G major, C major, D, ma D major pentatonic, D minor pentatonic. Uh, let's do G major pentatonic. This one's kind of cool too. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to start on the D, but the notes, uh, this is really your root right here, but we're going to go open, second, fifth, open, second, open, second, open, open, second, open, second, fifth. So you can see, like the, the D minor had a lot of the three. The, uh, the G major. Okay, so I like that one too. Um, and then if I were to do, um, let's do D minor and also G minor. Um, and D minor would be the same as F. So all these notes are in the key of F, 
and all of these notes are also in the key of uh, G minor would be B flat major. These are also all no all these notes are in the key of B flat as well. So here's here's D minor. We're gonna start on D, and again this is relative to F major. So D, um, and then second fret, third fret, fifth fret, open, first fret, third fret, open, second fret, third fret. G minor. This one's cool because it's it's like almost all ones and threes. So it's open one three five one three. I'm sorry. Open one three. Open one three. Open open one three. Open one three five. <laughs> so, there's your root right here. The pinky's root. I made the roots red up here so you can see if it's a G minor scale, then the G's will be red, etc. So. take a little section that that the fourth um, fourth third and second string section and kind of practice that so you can get kind of come up with your method of how you're going to play through that whether you're going to use kind of a sweep down up down 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 up down or if you're going to do more of an alternate alternating up or down up down up down up kind of thing uh, like a bluegrass player would experiment with both of those um, and when you're descending you might go you know up down up 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 down up you might sweep the other way picking up um, you know you can experiment and see which way you can do it faster um, so so these are some cool scales I'll show you one more um, I, I told you eight and I've, I think I've done eight did I do D major pentatonic? I think I did. Uh, but I'm going to add the blues tone to the D minor pentatonic. So we're going to we're going to go D, F, G, and we're going to put the A flat, A, C, D, F, G. Uh, oh, sorry, G, A flat, because I just like it. That's in that that first fret. It's kind of cool. And then open. favorite of all these scales. Because it just has so many opportunities to create this little dissonance between that that fifth and that and that flat five and that four. Um, okay, so hopefully this is fun for you. I, I, I enjoy coming up with these things. Um, and um, this way, when you're in Dad Guide, you can come up with some scales and you can play over other chords and kind of improvise and uh, solo and all that kind of stuff. And it just makes it a little bit more, uh, it kind of opens up the whole tuning thing. So it's not just chords or finger style stuff. You can actually kind of start to see some scale lines in there. Okay, I hope you're doing well. God bless you guys. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I'll be doing more videos. I'll be doing more of these soon. And uh, keep uh, stay tuned. Keep posting.